Okay guys, what is up? I am back here with a another, actually double, double at this time, but another Funko Vinyl Review. Both of these I got over the weekend. These both came, um, well actually this came I think on Monday, <laughs> correction, this came on Monday. This was originally supposed to come on Friday, but long story short about this, is the UPS carrier that mailed this one to me accidentally the UPS people accidentally sent it to the facility in Ceres California where it got uh, basically sorted out and then they found out oh wait a minute this is going to Newman it needs to go to the Merced office so yeah basically they kinda screwed up a little bit and I had to wait an extra few days to get Applejack's character, but I did get Darien Dew's character uh, on time. So, so yeah, uh, basically I had to wait for this, but I got this on time. So, let's take a look. We'll take Applejack out of the equation right now, and let's take a look at Darien Dew. Now, what's interesting about this is like Darien Dew, it's kind of like Basically, Daring Do is the alter ego of I don't, of, 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 of a pony that I can't think of her name right now. But she is basically the hero of Rainbow Dash. And um, we know she's coming up in uh, another movie, in, in the Equestria Girls. And one thing Malinimus uh, noted, noted when he talked about it, when Malinimus talked about her Equestria Girls appearance... Is how very feminine the face looked. Like how, how she had some makeup on her that you wouldn't necessarily think would be associated with a character like Daring Do, but yet there you go. And you got to remember, according to what they say, uh, Daring Do is basically the alter ego of of uh, another character. I can't think of her name right now. I think I have something that might be able to tell me. You got something here that might be able to tell me. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. Yeah. A.K. Yearling, which is basically, I, I guess, a play on, uh, on the, uh, uh, um, uh, on the Arthur of uh, Harry Potter, uh, on the, which is A.K. Yearling, which is basically a, this is basically who Daring Do is, right here, outside of being Daring Do, A.K. Yearling, is the pen name of Daring Do, who is an author and treasure hunter. She writes exciting books based on her life called the Daring Do series. So basically, um, yeah, she bas basically her alter ego name or her pen name is a play on um, uh, on the lady who did the Harry Potter series. So. So yeah. But anyway, Daring Do is basically like an Indiana Jones-like character, but from a f female perspective. Now, um, I'm kind of surprised at how many characters Funko has brought out so far. I mean, brought out doing its run with, the, with, with them. So, to see Daring Do is actually pretty good, because now I have um, other uh, characters. And you see the box is empty there, but you can see how it kind of wraps around a little bit with, with the character. So... That's that's pretty cool. And uh, but I was kind of surprised at what kind of, what other characters they have. So, but here is here is Daring Do, and she does have a cutie mark on both sides. So that's that's pretty cool. We can zoom in there just a bit. Not too much, get the full scale of the character. But as you can see, she does have her. Uh, cutie mark on both sides and it's officially my little pony right there 
Um, overall, it's a nice sculpt. Uh, I really like it. It's good character representation uh, of Daring Dew. He's got a little Pegasus wings there. So, overall, very nice sculpt. Um, you know, I'm just curious if she ever makes another appearance um, in the show. If uh, she's gonna, if they're gonna modify maybe her looks a little bit because. If we're going to get a, a Daring Do with makeup and all that in Equestria Girls, I can only imagine maybe they'll try to do the same for the Daring Do in the, car, in, the uh, in the Prime World, if you know what I'm saying. So, overall, not a bad, not a bad character representation of Daring Do. You got both her ears showing underneath her hat, so that's pretty cool. Nice detail on the hat. So, overall, not too bad, not too shabby. I'll, I'll give, I'll give him that. It's a little dirty on top so a little bit of dirt on top but that's okay overall though I really I really like it it's a nice sculpt here and I can't say any more than that now here's one question I will answer I do have these on display hidden display if you know what I mean until the time is right because right now I don't have the room really to display them outside or even how I want to because it's not, not as big as it used to be. My room's not as big as it used to be. And the room that we use for the ki for, as a guest room, there's no way my mom would allow me to do anything with that. So, anyway, I, I, what I might do, what I might do, is when we situate things uh, in the garage, because we're planning to do, like, make one side one thing and another side another, I plan to probably take that one side, maybe it's going to have a little bit of storage, and put, putting some shelves there, buying some more shelves, putting them there, and then displaying my stuff there. Mostly maybe in locked cases, if you will, because I don't trust any kids. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, there's, but anyway, Daring Do, like the representation. Probably one of the cheaper Funko f figures you're going to get. I think I got it for like $9.99, so that was pretty cheap. But one of the cheaper ones you're going to find, because she doesn't, uh, she doesn't appear as much, but she's not one of the more well-known ponies, so... Overall, I like it, like the character, like like the coloring, great character representation. And really, that's all I could say about Daring Do. Uh, if you're looking for one of, a more cheaper vinyl uh, figure that's still out there, I would suggest getting her. I would suggest getting her as I uh, try to shut this out. There we go. Why not? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, I would, I would suggest getting her because um, it's one of the cheaper one you, you, ones you're going to find. Now, next up, we have Applejack. One of the more popular ponies out there. This, besides the one I got in Luna, besides the one you're going to see in a bit, in another video, and Luna, this is probably the third most expensive pony that I've gotten. I'm pretty sure Twilight's going to be up there as well. But yeah, $34. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? It's like, why? Why is she $34? Um, well, I got it from through Amazon. I got it through, um, okay. I got it through Amazon Prime through, uh, let me see. But yeah, I got it through Amazon Prime. Um, I think what was what was the what was the uh, store's name? I can't even think about it right now because my uh, I my Android is deciding to act up a little bit. So we'll just go through this. But yeah, I got her through. I, again, I'm trying to think of the name. Name of it. Um, let me get her here on Amazon. But for thirty-four dollars, I mean, you would. Th you're probably thinking, why is it so much? Well, you got to realize this is one of the main six characters. But what's funny is rarity wasn't that much. 
Neither was Rainbow Dash. So, I, I don't understand. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's Willie's Toy Box. Yeah, Willie's Toy Box is the one that uh, sent it to me. And in the Daring Do came courtesy of Cool Dad's Toys. So Cool Dad's Toys sold me the, through Amazon Prime, sold me the Daring Do. And Willie's Toy Box via Amazon Prime sent me the, well, I bought the, uh, well, sold me the A Applejack. So. Yeah, Willie's Toy Box. Gotta remember that. So, overall, I like it. The box, great. Great representation of Apple's act there. Great character representation. And one thing I like about these boxes is when you have the rainbow color on them, the rainbow color is basically the color of the character, represents the color of the character. So, or the colors associated with the character. So, we're gonna open, open this up if we can. It's like it doesn't want to open. It's like, eh, eh, ain't gonna open, ain't gonna open. Come on. There we go. Pull her out for a sec. And as you can see, the box is empty. Pull that down. And there she is. There is Applejack. And I have to say, it's a good character representation of Applejack. I really like it. Now you now some people might be critical and say well the maybe the eyes aren't positioned the way they should be, but uh, overall I, I I I think they did a good job. I'm not I have nothing to complain about here. I, I like it. I really do. Um, you can see again she has the MLP print on the underneath. She's got the number. Oh, got both got a cutie mark on both sides. That's pretty cool. Great character representation. It's got a little tail and a ribbon, or a little tail in a. Got a little uh, tie, a little uh, tail. She got a tail in her. She got a little. Uh, she got a ribbon on her tails, a little tie on her tails, as well as in um, in her hair. Of course, basically she got a little. Basically, she got like a, a tiny pigtail in her tail, along with the one in her hair. The hat, great representation of the... Well, the hat, I don't know. Is, the hat, is, that, is that supposed to be the way the hat is? I guess it is. But uh, overall, great great detail here. I mean, I really like it. Good sturdiness. Very light, but good sturdiness for, for Applejack. Um, overall, I, I really like it. I really like what uh, Funko did here with her. Great representation. Nation of the character. Again, I know some people might be critical about it, but overall, I have nothing, I have no complaints. I really like it. I really do. So, overall, great job by Funko, and I can't really say any more. I mean, great character accuracy accuracy and representation, and just overall, just a very well sculpted done job. Now, there is a little bit of a dent. I will admit this. That, look right there. I don't know if you can see that. I just noticed that. Like, there's a little bit of a... A little bit of a crease right there, but that's okay. Just minor. You can uh, dab that up a little bit, like with mold or plaster or something like that. But overall, not too bad, not too shabby. So, I really liked it. And besides that little uh, crease mark there, um, which is very, very minor, um, I have to say that Funko did it again. I really have to say Funko did it again. And... You'll probably think, now I'm pre pretty sure a lot of you are thinking, well, why do some of these figures um, have have these uh, crease marks on them or these little dents on them or something like that that we can easily clean up? And she's back in the box there. Uh, I think the reason, I think the reason they do, I think the reason they got these little crease marks or something like that on them is because sometimes it might be used like when... It, it's like when somebody buys a bunch of them to sell them. Sell them and all that. 
you know, like when somebody buys a lot of them to sell them, either through the toy box or the online toy store or physical toy store, um, or they order order them to order a supply of them to sell online and physically in store, online and physically in store. Sometimes they might open them up to check them to make sure nothing's wrong, nothing's broken. So that's why you might see a crease mark here and there. And if it's just something minor, they they probably know that the customers are going to um, uh, take care of it. So overall, not too bad. Not too bad. I wouldn't worry about it. You just got to dab it up a little bit. So overall, uh, not too bad on both figures. Really like them. And that's all I'm going to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed my overview slash review of uh, my double review of both the Funko vinyl figures of Daring Do and Applejack. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like and I'm out.